Hey, feels right. Feels right. Man. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. The Las Vegas Raiders finished the 2024 preseason at 0 on one after playing the Dallas Cowboys to a draw Friday night. That's not the most important thing, though. The most important thing is that the Raiders made it out of the preseason healthy. We'll see if the run defense and a few other things are really something to worry about in week one. The preseason is about seeing which one or more of these younger, lesser-known players is worthy of a roster spot. That's especially the case in the preseason finale. The Raiders didn't play their starters or backups. There were 37 Raiders that didn't play all together because they already have their roster spots. That left the team with 53 guys fighting for 18 roster spots to fill the 53-man roster. Last night was each one of these players' last opportunity to show the Raiders they deserve one of those spots. So I guess you can say there were guys playing for their NFL football lives. We'll see soon enough who actually makes the roster, but there are a few guys that made some strong cases in the preseason finale. I actually hope they make the team, because they look like Raiders to me. You know what? I couldn't wait to see Trey Tucker return in punts until I saw all this. This is Tyreek McAllister, and watch him take off when he sees that thing open up. Bang, look at that acceleration. They could just use Tucker's speed on offense now. Why put Tucker on special teams when there's another guy out there that can take it the distance? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get another look at this one. He sees it right away and he's decisive. As a rookie last year, McAllister had a brief stint with the Denver Broncos. Then he went to Canada and led the CFL in return yards. He's trying to stick in the NFL now. He looks like he can help out as a slot receiver too. They can run him on jet sweeps. They could send him deep. Watch this route. Oh. He's a threat to score from anywhere no matter how you get him the ball. Watch the release and route here. There has to be room on the roster for his big playability, especially on special teams. Now we're on to everyone's favorite from Friday, linebacker Amari Gaynor. He's not ready to start right now. He misses too many tackles. He's got to get there with his feet instead of diving. He was going to come downhill and have the running back dead to rights, and nope. He's one of those guys the Raiders should keep and develop. He has no problems finding his way to the ball, but sometimes he has problems when he gets there. He's going to get hit with a stiff arm here. He takes the wrong angle to the ball here. But when he's tackling right, he looks like he can be a playmaker. And he will go from sideline to sideline to make plays. He's going to chase the ball carrier all the way outside and get him here. Yeah, that boy can run a little bit. He started at the point of attack, too. This isn't a great play for the Raider defense, but watch this. 
Oh, takes on the guard. Then he's going to save the touchdown. He can get rid of blocks quickly too. Watch him get rid of the center here. He's going to get rid of the tight end quickly here. And he can knife him to the backfield off the edge. He'll get to the ball in the receiver screen game. In coverage, if the ball's caught in his area, he'll usually make the tackle without it getting too far. He's usually right there when the ball gets there. Oh, and he's athletic. Watch him pick up the receiver after bluffing the blitz. He's not ready to start right now, but he does have some tools to develop, and the Raiders should keep him to do that. Another guy the Raiders need to keep him to develop is quarterback Carter Bradley. Now you can judge for yourself whose fault this incompletion is, but I say both. And Bradley did have some straight up misses that were on him. And this right here is a bad decision that could have gone worse. But again, he needs to be developed. But he has some arm talent. Watch him zing this one in there. He put that one right where he needed to put it with something on it. He's going to show some pocket presence on this one. Then he's going to give McAllister a chance to make a play and get rewarded. And this one's right on target to McAllister. He's got a rocket. He's athletic too, so you can get him out of the pocket. He didn't get the most help though, like on this fade here. Now I'm going to show this again. The Raider receiver waits for the ball to come down into his hands while the 49ers defensive back high points the ball. I'm not even going to look his name up because 82 is not going to be on the roster much longer. Now watch the arm here. The ball is going to go 20 yards down the field to the sideline in a straight line. The ball jumps out of his hand. Oh, this is two minute drills too. The Raiders are down by three. Another shot. Now watch this one over the middle where only his guy can get it. Now this one's going to be just out of the reach of the defender. And here we have another one down the middle where only his guy can get it. He showed his clutch on that drive. The Raiders might want to develop him. The Raiders better keep McAllister. He could be developed as a slot receiver, but he can do his thing as a return man now. He's coming off leading the Canadian Football League in return yards. Along with kicker Daniel Carlson and punter AJ Cole, he could be a game changer on special teams. I heard a few people say Amari Gaynor should start right now, but they need to slow their roll a little bit. He's a must-keep player though. If the Raiders develop his tackling, he could be special. I think Bradley is a keeper too. He has a big arm, he has some pocket presence, and he's a pretty good athlete. The Raiders can tuck him away as the number three quarterback and develop him. Those guys made big cases. Thank you for watching. See you next time.